OK, so today we're going to show you how you can stop the App Store asking for your Apple password every time you download a free app. So, for instance, I go into the App Store and say if I just want to download an app that's free. So I don't know, for instance, let's just check for the Amazon app. Now, it's a free app. I click on get or touch get. I tap install. And it wants me to sign into the Apple account. I can understand this might be needed if an app costs money, but for the free apps, do we really need to keep signing into the Apple account? No, probably not. This guide is going to show you how you can turn this off. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings just there. So tap the settings cog and then you need to tap your name, which is at the top of the screen. Tap on media and purchases and then tap password settings. Now, if you haven't got password settings there, then tap cancel. Tap on the arrow just to the left of settings. Scroll upwards until you get to face ID and passcode. Tap that. Type in your pin number and then you want to turn off iTunes and App Store. So just tap on that little green switch there, turn that off and then press the back button just to the left of settings and then scroll down, tap on your name and then tap on media and purchases. And there you should now see password settings. Tap that. And here, as you can see, under free downloads, it's got require password. Now we want to turn that off. So that means that if I download an app that's free, it will allow me to download it without having to put in my Apple password. So let's just turn that off. Tap done. Tap the arrow just to the left of settings. And we just want to go back to the App Store now. So let's just go back into the App Store. And let's try it again. So let's type in Amazon and then tap get and then tap install. And there we go. It's now installing without asking for a password. Now, what if you want to turn the face ID back on for the App Store? Then we can do that. We just go back out, go into settings. Scroll upwards, tap on Face ID and Passcode, type in your passcode, and then we turn on iTunes and App Store. And when we turn that on, it will ask us for our Apple password, only the once though. So type it in, tap on OK, and then tap the back button just up there. Come out of this and there. We can now download apps that are free without having to continually keep putting in our Apple password. But please make sure that you've got a note of your Apple password because at some point you might well need it again. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon. Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.